All right, what's up you guys? We're trying a couple of new Quest products today. So nothing too crazy about these, um, but this is their new frosted cookie, um, I guess kind of protein line that they've created. Um, right now they only have two flavors, um, and that is the birthday cake and the chocolate cake. Oh yeah. Um, which, you know, I like birthday I feel cake. Like I've had something similar to this. I mean, they have like birthday cake flavored things. No. But like a cookie? Different brand. You mean like a cookie though? Yeah, I think it, I think Think makes them. Cookies? Yeah. I know there's like peanut butter cups. I don't know, I've never seen like a- I swear. I've never seen little mini cookies before, but. Anyways, we're gonna go through both of them. He's gonna look it up real quick. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go through the macros on both of these. Uh, they are a little bit different. Birthday cake, Crystal. Yeah. We'll read off the macros as well as the micronutrients and, and regular ingredients. Okay, so for the birthday cake frosted cookies, it has 90 calories total, seven grams fat, 10 grams carbs, five grams protein, and there's two grams saturated fat, and then out of the carbohydrates, three grams dietary fiber, and less than one gram, or sorry, one gram total sugar, roughly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, so the ingredients in here, milk proteins, it says whey protein isolate, calcium... Kysinate. Kysinate, are you sure that's how you say it? Sodium caseinate. Uh, you just said the same word differently. Molecular casein. Molecular casein. Me no, not molecular. <laughs> There's some, oh, no. there's some funny words why does, here. Why do you make me do this here? You okay, I, I was <laughs> trying to do it, but you swiftly brought it away. Uh, oh yeah, you know what? I have had those. Think Thin Protein uh, Cakes. I've never had those. We'll just put it on there. You can't see it. Uh, I don't know. We'll put one on here right now. That's kind of what it looks like. I've never had those. Um, okay, so yeah, so it comes with some of those. Sunflower oil, water, almonds, glycerin, polydextrose. I had to say all the hard things before. Palm kernel oil, glycerin. cellulose, um, sea salt, natural flavors, corn fiber. Um, it says it's processed in a facility that processes eggs, soy, wheat, peanuts, and other tree nuts. Nuts. Which is most other, you know. Nuts. Uh, supplement based are the, products. Are the macros the same on both? Or are they macros are not the same. The, the chocolate, chocolate cake one has sweet. one less carb. Yeah. No. Um, and you can find this box for about 10 bucks. We got this one at Vitamin Shop for 10 bucks. This one was at Target. Oh, I'm sorry, Target. Yes. But uh, typically you'll find it at Vitamin Shop, Target, or on their uh, website. It's 10 bucks, which comes out to about $1.24 per serving. Um, which is not terrible, I mean, dude. but it's really not a lot. It's kind of small, like just one, that one bite compared yeah, to my bite. my palm. You could probably, yeah, you can chomp this with like one bite. <laughs> you can chomp it with one bite. Um, yeah, gluten free. Um, it says on the website the gender is gender neutral. Uh, yeah, we don't know. I hope so. We don't know. To be a male or female only to eat these cookies? Not really sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, the only problem I really see up front is the size. I mean, you probably need, I would probably need like four or five of them to like kind of keep me satiated for a while. I need like one or two. Four or five, I'd say like one or two, guy. What are you, it's not a meal replacement. It's a snack though, you know? Like four or Okay, five we're gonna, we're gonna cookies? bust this thing open. And we're gonna see what it looks My like. God. What are you I'm talking just, about? To keep me satiated, dude. You know I eat a so lot. So you're gonna eat five cookies? This box comes with uh, eight cookies. Oh, so. we'll see. So gonna, Adam's gonna, gonna eat already. The whole box in one <laughs> That's all ten dollars right there. Clear the box. I'm gonna clear the box. I could. I'm gonna put it through the garbage. Let's let's be honest. Could I really clear a I box? I mean, we all longer? could. We all could. Should you? No. Okay, well, that's fair. <laughs> I mean, you could. I'm gonna grab a knife. I should do a lot. I could do a lot of things. Doesn't mean I'm going to. All right. So we only have two of the frosted chocolate cake. So we'll cut one in half, we'll kind of taste it. Do a birthday cake first. We had three, but the other one mysteriously disappeared. I don't know what happened to it. This is true. Um, yeah, let's try the birthday cake first. Oh, we're all taking one, right? Oh, shit. Sure. good. Might as well. Oh. Oh. Looks like the picture, I can't It does look, look like a picture. It looks exactly like the picture. Mine's a little moist. Yeah, here's a little. It smells. It has some sprinkles on top. It smells like birthday cake. Okay, we're going? Nope, no way, hold on. It smells good. See the cross section? Cross section. Ooh. It's kind of like black. It's like no, it's not moist. black. It's like a it's like a cake spongy like moistness in the middle. I'm just gonna go for it. Alright, let's go. Mm. 
You know, at first bite, I don't like the way the frosting tastes. Mm. It tastes kind of like the bar. Yeah. I mean, I mean towards I the end, towards I the end, it tastes it like would. towards the it end, tastes, it tastes like birthday it cake. It tastes just like the Quest protein bar, but obviously the uh, the texture is much different. It's it's a little bit more spongier. It's not as it's kind of hard to eat. Like, well, to I'm eat. gonna say that it's actually not as hard to eat. I think it's a little bit easier to kind of digest mm -hmm. and like. You can take break your down. time with it, yeah. You can break down a lot easier than typical Quest bars. I know that we've tried Quest bars on this show before, and I mean, you've really got to be chomping on that thing over and over and over. Yeah, it's very And it's hard blasty. to put down. It's leathery. It's, it's like it's leathery, taffy-ish. This is honestly not too bad. Like, you can actually kind of take a few bites and, you know, consume it. Which, for me, is actually pretty okay. It's okay, yeah. In terms like of the normal. overall flavor, you can kind of get some proteiny taste in there. The first the initial taste, I had guess, way it was more sprinkles in the thing. icing. Mine didn't have any sprinkles. Really. Maybe that's oh, why no. it tastes kind of weird. Mine didn't have any sprinkles. But at the all. initial taste was kind of like, true. Meh. but then I took a second bite and I was like, okay, I mean, it's okay. okay. It's tolerable. Horrible. It's tolerable. Oh, there you said it was horrible. Tolerable. <laughs> <laughs> horrible. No, it's not horrible. horrible. It's not horrible. <laughs> it's tolerable. <laughs> okay, yeah. moving on. Yeah, I kind of agree. Oh, guys. Oh, I got a light of spitting. You spit that all over the place. Gross. Sorry, I'm walking off the water. Okay. Just put that one in half. I will say that my mouth is a little dry afterwards. Don't open that one. Don't open that one. Don't open that one. There you go. Why not? No, we're going to just close that one in thirds. No, I wanted the whole thing. I want the whole thing. I want the whole thing. Just put that one in. Let him eat the whole thing. He wants to eat the whole thing. This one's much more. Difficult to cut. Oh, this one looks a lot different. Actually, I can't really tell if no. this one looks different looks than that one because I mean. Nah, it's, just, mm. it's the same. It's just chocolate. Yeah. This upper part is a little weird. This one smells like a brownie. It, like it does smell like a brownie. All right, I'm gonna go for it. Hmm. I like this. It's good. That's good. I like the chocolate one. It's better. not as spongy as the birthday cake. It's a little bit drier. But the overall flavor of it is much better than mm -hmm. the birthday cake, I would say. It was more authentic chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It tastes like chocolate. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Those are good. Mm -hmm. Those are good. They're good wow. to use like as a dessert snack. I think they're more expensive for, for what you get. Yeah, I would tend to agree with Elijah. A dollar twenty-four is pretty pricey. You can end up getting a think bar with more calories, for more protein. 20 more cents, yeah. For twenty more cents. Like this ain't gonna fill me up, dude. It's, it's not gonna fill Well that's what I'm saying. You need like three or four of them. Well it's a snack. It's not at that point you might as well go eat so you That's what I'm saying. It's not meant to fill you up, it's, it's a snack. Well what is you, the purpose of these? Like a sweet treat? Like before you, after treat. you run, before you run, I don't know, like before, before you bed, out, before bed, whatever. Sweet tooth. Sweet tooth. Yeah, pretty I much. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. which I mean, yeah, you know what, it does its job. Um, but I mean, is there much of a difference if you like pair it up with a protein bar and pay maybe like 10 cents more? You get a little bit more protein, a little bit. I think this just, it's not meant to be like a high protein snack. Obviously it only has five grams of protein in there. So I think, you know, their goal is just to like, Kind of just sweet tooth type Just deal. a sweet tooth, just kind of something that's super low calorie. Yeah, it says they're on a mission to make the Fuji Crave work for you. Not that, for yeah, it says on everything. But I mean, per cookie, it's 90 calories. It's less than 100 calories. 10 more calories than you have a white claw. You know what I mean? I mean, you really got something that's pretty low. I like how you compared it to white Why claw. Why did you compare it to a white claw? Well, because low, white claws are like low calorie. They're like trying to adhere to like people are trying to stay lower calories. So I think yeah. that the same thing applies, but in cookie form with Quest. You know what I'm saying? So you can substitute a cookie instead of white claw. Correct. That's exactly what I'm saying. Okay. Or you can have the white claw instead. Doesn't matter. But yeah, I think it? these are uh, out of five. What would you put it? Out of five. Ooh. Okay. Well, I would say that both of the flavors are different for me in terms of rankings. The birthday cake, I'd probably rank like. Two. A three. I'd say uh, a three too. Yeah, a three. I really didn't like that one. The chocolate one, I would say chocolate. maybe like a three and a half or four. I'd say I'd four. give it a four. four. I'd give it a four. Yeah, the chocolate's a little four bit better. Five. I think I like the texture of the birthday cake a little bit better than the chocolate, but I like the flavor of the chocolate better than the birthday cake. If that makes sense. It's got it's got pros and cons. It's got pros and cons. Um, could I see myself buying these again? No. Probably I don't not. think so. No. I don't think so. Um, I think there are better things out there. The price tag is a little expensive. They're kind of hard to find. 
as well. Yeah, they're not like yeah, widely drive over They're not life. widely available. Um, I wouldn't go out of my way to get these. Yeah, I've only really seen like maybe one of that flavor available at a time, and then like other times I'll see the other flavor available. I mean, so like, you know, if I'm trying to search for like a chocolate one, like, you may have some hard time, you know, finding it. Um, yeah. Unless you live near a vitamin shop or a Target. But it's not convenient, yeah. It's really not convenient. Honestly, it's not. Like, it's just, it's expensive for what you're getting. Right. Yeah. It is. I agree with that. Um, but yeah, if I had to pick my favorite, the chocolate one would be my favorite. Chocolate wins. Yeah, chocolate wins. Um, would you end up buying these again or no? no probably no. not. No. What would you buy instead? Protein bar. <laughs> it's a standard protein bar. It's a protein bar, bar yeah. Faster, okay. easier, fills you up. Cheaper. Hell, bananas. I'd rather buy a banana. Fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, buy a banana. Yeah. Yep. Same like for the literally. Well, oh, now more carbs. Yeah. Well, but, yeah. It's only five grams of protein though. So. But I mean, like, if you're trying to really cut down on calories and cutting down on sweet tooth and anything like that and your sweets then you can this is a good go it's a definite option for you yeah. mm -hmm. to see what we need to find those think bars and see if we can compare them together yeah you know what we might do that i don't know if think makes them anymore though i don't know if they yeah that's true i haven't seen them lately i've seen them only once and we've gotten them before yeah i don't remember how they taste that was years ago mm -hmm. i don't think they make them anymore we can check that out we can try to find maybe it. amazon has them somewhere <clears throat> maybe <clears throat> yeah all right guys that pretty much sums it up thanks for watching i mean pretty short video let us know what we should review next. We have plenty of reviews that we've done and we have little mini reviews we do as well. So you can find that on Instagram Reels and TikTok. All of the pages are down below, including ours. So let us know what you think. Make sure you leave us a comment, like, subscribe. Tell us if we suck. Tell us, tell us if our reviews suck. Why would we want that? Well, we want constructive criticism. Fair enough, fair enough. So let us know. Make sure you subscribe, guys. Thanks a lot.